What's going on guys, John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you two ways to lock down your app with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to lock down your Flask app. So in the last couple of videos, we've been working on this login thing. So if we come back here, we can log in. If we're not logged in, and for instance, we try to go to the dashboard, it redirects us to the login page, right? So in a sense, our app is already kind of locked down, some of it but there are things in the app that aren't yet. So for instance, this add blog post page. Right now, anybody in the world could add a blog post and we only want logged in users to be able to do that. So we're gonna look at locking down this page in this video. And like I said, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. There are certain circumstances where one way might be better than the other. So we'll look at both. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to this code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Flasker videos. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't so far. So let's come down here. And let's find that add post page. I'm just gonna search for add dash post and here it is. So we've got this page and this is where we add our post. Now in the last video, I should come back up here and look at the login log out stuff we did. We have this, let's see, where did it go? Decorator right here, this at login required decorator. And this is what is working with our dashboard and other pages to redirect back to the login screen if a user is not logged in. So like I said, this is called a decorator and we can use this anywhere. This doesn't just have to be in login type things. So I could just copy this, come back down here to our add post page right here and just pop this in. So if we go ahead and save this, head back over here and hit reload, you can see I'm not yet logged in and boom, it redirects back to this login page. It says, please log in to access this page. So that's the quickest and easiest way to do it. So See, I'm clicking on the add blog post page and it just won't let me do it. And I don't know, probably nine times out of 10, that's gonna be just fine. But there are certain circumstances where you might not wanna redirect back to the login page. You might want to take some other action on your page based on whether or not the user's logged in. So before we look at that, let's look at our posts and we can click right here and we can edit this guy. And let's see if we click on this this edit page. We definitely don't want this to be visible unless you're logged in. So let's add that decorator to that page. So let's head back over here and I'm just gonna look for edit, edit posts. There we go, that's probably it. So I'm just gonna pop this in, save it, head back over here, hit reload and boom, now that redirects. So okay, that's good. So okay, that's the easy way. What's the other way? Well, let's come back over here and let's go to our add post page, here it is. And I'm gonna comment this out. So let's save this and head back over here and go back to the uh, add blog post page. Okay, so now we're not logged in and we can still see this page. So the second way that we could fix this is to head over to our templates file and go to that add post page. There it is. And inside of here, we could do some logic. So let's uh, add our Jinja tags here. And let's say if current underscore user dot is underscore authenticated. So if the user is authenticated, they can add their blog post stuff. And we can come down here and go else. And while I'm thinking about it, let me end our if, just because I always forget. We can do something else. So let's say H2, uh, I don't know, must be logged in, dot, dot, dot. And then maybe we get fancy and go, sorry, you must be logged in to access this page. And then if we want to get really crazy, we could create a link, a href equals, and then say login here. And then we could just put a link to our login page, which is just URL underscore for login. Okay, so that should work. Head back over here. Come back here and hit reload. But before we do that, if you like this video, and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codeby.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Whoa, weird commercial. All right, anyway, hit reload. Boom, user must be logged in. So that's the way you could do it page by page. If you don't want to just redirect back to the login page, you could do it like this. And here, of course, we see we got the login link. We can log back in if we want. Password one, two, three, I think is my password. Okay, so we're logged in, we've got our dashboard. We wanna add a blog post, now we can, right? If we go to the post page and wanna edit a post, we can do that as well. So if I copy this and then let's see, log back out. 
and then try to go back to that edit page. Uh oh, we can't do it. It redirects us back to the login page. So two different ways to lock down your Flask app. It really just depends what you're trying to do with your app. You may just want to redirect everything back to the login page. And if you want that, you can just use that decorator. Very easy. Use it in the view. Just slap it in there. And that's all you have to do as long as you've got Flask login installed. And we did that a couple of videos ago. If you didn't see that video, check the playlist. But as long as you got that on there, you can use that. And it's really easy if you don't have that on there or if you want to do sort of page by page specific, you know, you might want to have a different message appear here for each page. You know, sorry, you must be logged in to make a blog post. If you wanted to put that on there, you would have to use this second method and it's pretty easy. So you could just do that either way, you know, very easy to lock down your Flask app and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. Say page is $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.